This step, like the one before it, is very unfamiliar to people in North America. But fermented foods have been an important part of the diet of healthy people all over the globe for thousands of years. This meditation addresses the beliefs needed to make this new practice habitual. This will be possible only as you become excited about what can happen for your health if you eat cultured foods regularly. So let's sit in your meditation position and take several deep breaths to prepare. As I enter into the realm of fermented foods, I am stepping into a zone that very few people understand, even those who consider themselves health conscious. I am about to become an elite practitioner of my own personal nutrition. Probiotic means literally for life. Probiotics are the opposite of antibiotics that kill life. I plan to eat foods rich in live cultures that can flourish in my stomach, intestines, and colon. These cultured foods can make a profound difference, changing the inner terrain of my body's ecology. Instead of bad bacteria threatening my health in many ways, eating live, fermented foods will slowly populate my gut with many healthy bacteria strains that make me strong against viruses and bad bacteria. I am excited about the potential of live probiotic foods to make my gut healthy. I am looking forward to improving my ability to digest my food with helpful microorganisms. I am finding exciting ways to eat probiotic foods every day. I know as I do so, I am building a strong temple, regardless of what my choices have been in the past. I can, over time, undo the damage of antibiotics or stress and chemicals and sugars I have eaten in the past. I am protecting my gut from inflammation and chronic diseases. As I eat more enzyme-rich cultured foods, I'm getting more nutrition rather than dead foods and empty calories. I'm getting more fiber, vitamins, minerals, and enzymes. The beneficial microorganisms can pre-digest vegetables, milks, and other foods. This makes them very easy for my body to digest. The probiotics, or friendly bacteria and good yeasts, help white blood cells fight disease. They control the bacteria in the intestines that putrefy food. They help build blood. They protect the lining of the intestine. They prevent diarrhea and constipation. These probiotics also manufacture B vitamins, including B12, that many people think you can get only from red meat. This step, more than any other, can change my health by making me resistant to getting sick. I hope for and expect positive results. After learning to make kefir and fermented vegetables and incorporating them into my diet, I plan to be standing when everyone else is down with viruses and infections. I expect bronchitis, strep, flu, frequent colds, and other problems to be part of my past not my present or future. As I eat my cultured foods, I will visualize myself at my ideal weight. I am achieving my ideal weight. I visualize myself healthy and well. When others get sick in the winter, I will visualize the tasks I haven't felt up for until now that I'll accomplish with my new energy.